about half throttle. That's where the truck feels the best. Uh, flooring it, I mean, it's not a, it's not a race car, obviously. I'm, you know, you're used to getting in and punching it, just beating the hell out of the car, the Corvette or the Q50. But, you know, it's lifted two and a half, three inches. Got these big knobby tires on it. It just feels, just feels weird, you know, flooring it. But half throttle, you can feel the grunt. You can hear that nice low tone of the V8. And it's pretty torquey, you know, 400 and something foot pounds of torque. So puts you back in your seat a little bit. Aside from that, it's super comfortable. Well, the cold air intake from Z1 Motorsports has been installed on this 2021 Nissan Titan. It's good for the 2016 and newer Nissan Titans. It was about an hour job or so. Check out that full installation video uploaded on the channel. But now I just want to see if there's any difference whatsoever. A little bit of additional induction noise. I know that right away. We got some under the hood footage. Uh, you can just hear a little bit of extra suction. It's kind of nice, but you honestly don't hear any in the cabin. How about exhaust? We got a camera outside the truck, so we'll see if it sounds any different outside there, but in the cabin, even with the window down, I don't hear any difference. Still nice, low rumble. Let's try taking off a little bit here. Will you guys let me know in the comments if you can hear a difference in the exhaust tone. From inside the truck, I can't say I notice it. I do feel a little extra pep in the throttle. I can't say that I I notice nine or 10 extra horsepower, or 10 foot pounds of torque or anything like that, but I do feel a little bit of additional throttle response. Hopefully it's not just the butt dyno kicking in, but um, you know, I think it's, I think it's there. Ooh, somebody did a little burn out here, holy crap. Again, make sure you check out the full installation video for the Z1 Motorsports or Z1 Off-Road cold air intake for the Nissan Titan. Again, decent installation, not so bad at all. Just a few basic hand tools and a little bit of time and you can handle it. It's gonna get you a little bit of extra pep in the step of the old Titan. Um, it showed on their dyno graph that they made about nine or 10 extra horsepower and 10 foot pounds of torque, something like that, which isn't too shabby. And even if we're close to that 250, under 300 bucks for this cold air intake, I mean, you can't really beat it. I'm hoping to get a little bit of additional uh, fuel mileage, and I like the idea of getting a little bit of additional power, a little bit additional torque out of the truck without having to tune it. That's that's a big advantage as well, uh, and especially considering what we got planned for this truck, we're gonna we're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. Other than that, guys, I appreciate the continued support. Let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know if you have any questions about the cold air intake. We got a lot of stuff coming for this Titan and I'm going to spend a bunch of money right now. So I hope you guys will stick around. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate the continued support. See you in the next one.